Uh, let's see. Centurion you can sell that for... I mean, chat. They're only gonna give us 1.2 million. I say we stick this puppy in cold storage and see if we can better get a better price somewhere else. Uh, but let's go ahead and get all this stuff put back together. As you do. We didn't actually take that much damage in that mission. It was a pretty quick one. So, that's good. That's good. I'm old if I don't... I'm old if I don't, I start to fall apart. I mean, you don't get old. Boom. You're only as old as you feel. So, you know, don't let it get to you. But yeah, you can see in cold storage, we got two marauders, we got a longbow, crusader, the shinturian we just put in there, another archer. Like, we have a lot of mechs that we need to put back together and just haven't gotten around doing it yet. Yeah. We needed the money and we also needed the, uh, to be... Preferably in an industrial hub where it'll be a little cheaper. And Erst, give it another sub gift in this time to Black Hydra 22. Black Hydra, welcome to the cult of bad tactical decisions. And Erst, again, thank you so much for the massive generosity and the massive chicken. You do not have to do that, but I appreciate your generosity all the same. And Black Hydra, be sure to thank Erst for the sub and their generosity as well. Um, let's see. Star map. What, what do we got? Is that it? I mean, we could stay here and just do the battlefield contracts. But I feel like, like, yeah, these contracts are okay. But I, again, we definitely got a lot more stuff from this one little mission chain than we did from anything that we've been doing up till now. So let's have a look at this Warhammer. We'll, we'll look at the loadout. Um, I don't actually have a problem with this loadout. It's very, very similar to the 6R that we're already running. Uh, I think the only thing I'm going to do is we're going to dish the machine guns and the ammo for it. And I'm going to armor it up. That's the only change we're going to make to this design. Because I don't give a shit about machine guns. I want this thing to have survivability. Uh, the only thing is it's very, very weak in the leg armor. Um, so it might not be a bad idea to ditch the small lasers as well. But we can probably pull armor from other locations. Rearrange the armor just a little bit. Because you always have to have even values. No odd values on your armor chat, remember. For the cat drops. Permission to post a link. Add uh, to Krenz. Again, AFP, like like always, the rule stands. If you rick and roll us, you're banned. No questions. There you go. SRM 6 to a 4. And you go down half a bend and keep the MGs. Yeah, that's you're you're not wrong, friend aid, but I I just don't like machine guns. I don't want machine guns. I'd rather have more missiles, more DACA. Well, Less DACA, but more DACA, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I think we'll go with this. The guy on the left is Patreon. Um, let's see. So this is... This is a link to a YouTube channel. Let's have a look. Ah, okay. Got it. Got it. I mean, that's all news to me, of course. I, I'm not really into the whole creator space. I mean, so, and, and I have a Patreon set up for this channel and this community. I just don't have it live because, like, I just, it feels weird to ask for money through Patreon. I, I'd rather just have you guys sub through Twitch, but, I, and so, and, and, and that's something, like, I haven't actually broached the subject, but just in case, like, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about it, but if you want. And you guys feel free to let me know in the Discord or wherever. But, like, if you guys would rather, you know, me do stuff through Patreon, let me know. I'm not going to advertise my Patreon because Twitch is weird about that. But, like, I, I'm... If you guys would rather do that... Yeah, that's that's the thing. Is I've heard a lot of bad stuff about Patreon as well. At least with Twitch. Like, I know what I'm getting myself into. I understand how it works. Um... And Patreon is like, there have been times where Patreon is just like, and nobody gets paid this month. And I'm like, uh, no, I, I, no, actually. I think I'd rather just, again, at least I know Twitch is going to make sure that your donations get to me and get to me on time. 
So, either way. Um, but anyway, we got all our mechs put back together. Um, we need to hit the operation center, look at the objective logs, and see what else is next. Um, we got this, again, the Lyran Rebels, but let's, let's not do that. We got, well, I mean, we got the Torians offering a 3D Marauder. So we're, we're kind of in the neighborhood. We might as well just head over there, right? I say we're in the neighborhood. I didn't realize it was quite this far away, but... Uh, let's see. We got some money. We're out of range, alright? How close can we get? If we were to go here... Is that... That's still too far. Alright. Then let's do this. We'll hit an industrial hub on the way over. See what we can find. And uh, we'll, we'll head over to Torian Space and see what we can do. We're gonna travel, chat. We're traveling. See, you guys are talking about Subscribestar. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I've never heard of Subscribestar. Like, I assume it's some kind of subscription Patreon type of thing, but I... I've never even heard of it. Don't know anything about it. I mean, I have to do some research. Have a look at it. Uh, alright. Well, since we're here, we can hire pilots. We don't really need to, but we can look at the equipment that they've got for sale. It doesn't look like they have anything special, like rare mechs or equipment. Uh, a black market probe. Cutting edge sensor enhancement suite built for arena combat. So are we... Okay, Chad, rack with me here. Uh, yeah, Aether, and it, it doesn't like the links. Let me see. Oh. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. I can see the link. Well, it thinks it's a link, but uh, it doesn't like it. Try reposting it, but don't, uh, don't, don't post that so like, it doesn't like that. The bot is a little overzealous. The bot drinks, I'm sorry. Uh, but, but wrap with me here for a second, because, like, I don't recognize this DLC. Is this the symbol for the Solaris DLC? And more importantly, is this one of those things, um... Is this one of those things where, like, kind of like what Paradox does, where they'll do a DLC, but then they also do an update to the game, and, like, you get some of the content, but you have to buy the DLC to get the rest of the content? Is that, like, is that what this is? Am I understanding that correctly? Yes and yes. Okay. All right. I, that's what I suspected, because I hadn't seen that before. I was like, I don't know what this symbol is. Um, I don't, I mean, is a black market probe worth it, though? I, I we, we only have one mech that can use a probe, so I, I don't really think we need it. Uh, but since we're here, and because we keep losing AC-10s, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a couple more AC-10s. Um, I think we're good otherwise. Whoops, I did not mean to buy that, but, well, too late now. Let's see what we got in the mechs. We got a dervish that's actually in pretty good shape. We got another quick draw, which now. We got a 4G hunchback missing a leg. Uh, again, nothing, nothing outstanding. Nothing that's making me think to myself, we must have this. There is a rare mech on the market. I think it's worth heading over there. It's only 13 days and 50 grand. So the DLC is in the game. So wait, does that mean I have the content and I didn't even have to buy it? Because otherwise, how am I getting access to that the stuff without actually having purchased the DLC? Or does the DLC just unlock the Solaris and uh, and like Duncan Fish or stuff? Uh, knowing and okay with this channel being a Mech Warrior Five are. Uh, but will there be a time when we cycle back to Quasimorph? Uh, again, that's... I enjoy Quasimorph. Um, and I will definitely go back to it when they hit the next major update. Uh, I'm just, again, it needs a little time to cook. The, the systems are solid, and I do enjoy playing the game. So we'll definitely go back to it at some point. It's just, I want to wait for it to be a little more complete. Um, and because the other problem with playing Quasimorph is... Right now, because of their update cycle, it's 
it's kind of one of those situations. It's very similar to like astronauts, which is another one um, that people ask about from time to time. Uh, is that they do a lot of updates, and a lot of times those updates will break the game or break old saves. And so I don't want to get too deep into a Quasimorph campaign just to have it invalidated by a major update. So I'm, I'm waiting until they get a little more of the, like, the big features implemented so that updates are less likely to break everything. But yes, to answer your question, there's absolutely a possibility that we'll go back to Quasimorph. It is not off the table. This is a matter of what everybody wants to see. I mean, obviously, I have veto power, and if I really want to go back and play it, then we will, but you get what I mean. Uh, but they have a rare Thunderbolt. Rare in this case because it's all in one piece. 6.8 million sea bills? I do enjoy. I do enjoy some Thunderbolt, Chad. It's a pretty chalky mech, and you can do a lot with it. Huh. Chad, do we spend almost 7 million on a table, or do we just wait and try to salvage one? Uh, we definitely have the money. We got some heavies and coal. Yeah, you're not wrong, Brofisticus, but again. Bad tactical decision. Well, there you go, I rate me. Yeah, again, I, I like Astronauts as well. I think it's an outstanding game. And much like... Much like... Um, God, I can't remember the name now. Much like Neo Scavenger. Um, I, think, I think once it's done, Astronauts will be an outstanding game. It's just, you know, the, the patches tend to break everything, and I hate that. So one day, one day we'll go back to Astronauts too. Seems like Chad is overwhelmingly in favor of the T-Bolt, so... Fuck it. We're gonna buy a T-Bolt, Chad. It's in perfect condition. Um, so, as a direct result of that, we need to store something away. I hesitate to put away Hunchback Squad. I guess we'll 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 could storage the Kentaro because it's going to be very expensive to put that back together anyway. And the Kentaro is 55, the T-Bolt is 65. Let's see what we can do with this. Um, it might be fine the way it is. We will see. I don't like this. The combination of LRM SRM. I I absolutely hate it when when games were when BattleTech games do that. So we're gonna ditch that. If we have an, an LRM-5, I'm going to stick that in there instead. There we go. Shit, it's a little too heavy. Alright, well then we'll ditch the SRM ammo. How about that? And it's already maxed out on the armor. Well, almost maxed out on the armor. So, um... Damn! Let's see we go with it. 20 LRMs, large laser for long-range combat. We got mediums and machine guns if they get in close. Plus, we got them big old chonky fists as well. You're not wrong, friend aid, uh, but I give them the LRMs because that way I can have the the AI fire at very distant targets without having to worry about them necessarily taking damage. Because I do that a lot. Like whatever target I'm attacking, I just reflexively have the AI attack that as well. So when I'm running straight ahead and I'm way ahead of my guys, I can still have them supporting me with LRMs. That's that's the main reason I'm focusing on LRMs. Not necessarily because I think they're going to use them up close. I know they suck with them. But the large laser, three mediums, and some machine guns um, will be good enough up close, I think, for a Thunderbolt. Still confused why they didn't include MRMs in vanilla. Uh, you didn't really see MRMs in the setting, uh, at this period, like in 3015, 3020. Like, MRMs supposedly still existed in that time frame, but you didn't really see them come into prevalence until later. Correct. I, I subscribe to the Leroy Jenkins School of Battlefield Tactics. That is, I, I learned from the man himself, that's not true. I never actually met Leroy Jenkins. But I definitely subscribe to that philosophy. 
All right. Uh, we managed to get everything put back together. Um, well, I say that we we have stuff that's put together. Let's let's rearrange here. We want Hunchback Squad out here. I think we put in the T bolt and the Warhammer. This is going to be our main lance going forward for the time being. Again, the mechs will get their paint once they've earned it. In the meantime, let's continue traveling. Don't forget, we're on our way to Torian space. So that was actually a good stop. We, we stopped in to see what the rare mech was, and it turned out to be a good pit stop to make. Uh, Tegeta? Sure. We're spending a lot of money and a lot of time. Yeah, I know in the setting it was Kirita that came up with the MRM supposedly after the clans, but at the same time there's always been the insinuation that like, well, medium range missiles always existed, we just, you know, they weren't prevalent, or at least that's the explanation now. Alright, uh, let's, let's, we don't have anything here, I didn't think we would, this is just a pit stop along the way. And then we will head out another, another two months at half a million sea bills. That's a good question, Black Hydra. I don't know if there's actually a time limit. Although, I think it would be interesting, considering how much time you can pass in this game, to have, like, the commander and the pilots get all old and wrinkly and just be like, Oh man, I'm too tired, I'm too old. Everybody becomes Grandpa Tex. Alright, contract. First mission for the Torians in this in this campaign. Let's do it. We're gonna go max salvagers. Look at that. Seven negotiation points. And we are right on the limit with this Lance Comp. Um It's kinda unfortunate. I think. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick. Uh... Nope, I want that warhammer. There we go. We're we're gonna do a quick uh, switch hit here and same level, but this the 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 Fitzpatrick has much better damage mitigation and evasion, so maybe that will help with the warhammer. I would rather repair a centurion than a warhammer. Um, let's make it hot. We're gonna shoot the Moon Kaiser. We are indeed. And Kailania rolling into the chat on a Saturday. Good to see you, Kailania. Glad you could join us. Hopefully you have an outstanding weekend so far. Glad you can make it. As always, glad to have glad to have you folks with the founders badges in chat. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Thank you, Mech Warrior 5, for giving him a vaguely southern accent. Oh, you about to have a bad time, buddy. You about to have a bad time, buddy. You about to have a bad time, buddy. Get leg nerd. You know, the sad thing about a Jaeger mech is it doesn't do very well when the enemy's up close. I don't know if they told you that in pilot school. Yeah? Sucker. And first, gifting yet another sub, this time a caffeinated lemur, caffeinated lemur, welcome to the stream on a Saturday, first of all, and welcome back to the stream, glad to have you, welcome back to the Cult of Ban Tactical Decisions. I feel like it's been a little while since we've seen you in chat as well, but as always, we're glad to see you. Stumbles in for Stompy Mech Times, well you are indeed gonna get you some Stompy Let's Mech Times up in support. this piece. Can't promise that uh, we'll be very good, but again, we don't call it the cult of bad tactical decisions for nothing. Alright, there we go. Guys, 
wor worry about the platforms, please. Just, just kill the enemies that are in the vicinity. Still new to the Mech Warrior world, Battletech was my first game into the world, so it's nice to hear all the lore bits. Yeah, and, and I've said this before, like, if you're relatively new to the Battletech franchise, I mean, you'll definitely... You'll hear a lot about it here, and we kind of, we make jokes about memes and stuff like that in the Battletech community, but it's a, it's a very deep rabbit hole. I've said before, there are some really great content creators out there that do, like, deep dives on the lore. Um, I always recommend folks like Tex and Spin Vanderplank and Mechfrog. Um, all those folks, they, they do a lot of lore deep dives on Battletech and a lot of the setting. Um, so if you're curious and you want to get into it, that's that's a great way to kind of learn more about this this 40 year old franchise. I'm I'm making a boo boo here, chat. I think. There we go. Enemy destroyed. Yeah, I'm making a boo boo here. I went charging in, and I probably shouldn't have. Sadly, you will not be doing like Wolverine and regenerating. I took a lot more damage on that than I probably should have. That's my fault. But yeah, Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. You see, you saw it here first. You saw it here first, chat. There is a reason that I took a super fast SRM boat trebuchet into the fight. I'm basically gambling with my life here because... Yes, the Treb is really fast. Yes, SRMs are really powerful. However, I also have the downside of being very squishy because I'm in a Treb. That's okay, I like gambling. And you better believe that this, as soon as they give me the opportunity, or as soon as I find a way to put melee weapons on this thing, I'm gonna do it. That's a jab I'm down. And speaking of trebs, this treb is gonna have a bad time in the very near future. Although I could argue he's having a bad time already. Now he's having a worse time. Oh, we got more enemies. Uh, we got a flea and a vindicator, eh? Take out the Igor for me, please. Took one down. And might as well take care of that one, too, while you're at it. You can do it. There we go. Oh, well, look at that. You came all the way up here to meet me. Thank you. Thank you for saving me the trouble of having to chase your speedy Gonzalez ass down. If you french fry when you're supposed to pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. Agree, absolutely. Grindler Colo out here with, with the sage wisdom. Come here, Vindicator. Who was it that said this is basically the T-34 of Battletech? Cause I, I don't remember who said that, but in hindsight, I 100% agree with that sentiment. Like, it's cheap, and it kind of sucks, but you know what? You get enough of them in one place, and it's gonna do some damage. I-I do- I appreciate the Space Texas thing of like, well, there's no house units here, so you're good. Uh, yeah, that's 100% a Torian thing. Please, please kill that guy. Please kill that guy. Let's see, what do we get? 19k for that? I'll take it. Partisan's a little beefy. But we are on a battlefield contract, so the more we kill, the more we get paid. 
Affirmative. Commander's target is now priority. If it's not too much trouble, you think he could, like, a there you go. I was gonna say, you, you should be able to finish that thing off. The trick is gonna be how quickly we'll be able to get these enemies to show up. This is always my problem with battlefield contracts. Is, yes, I love that I can get more money for killing more enemies, but it takes so long for more enemies to spawn. So all of my folks should have LRMs of some description, which means we should be able to fire at the SRM carrier from this distance. Although I may have to go over and say hi. Because I don't think the next wave of enemies is going to spot until we've killed this guy, unfortunately. And of course, you're way out here in the middle of BFE. I have SRMs too, donkey. Alright, what do we got? Somebody give me a sensor contact. Because 50k is not really worth the extra time. This map is, is kind of a little bit too big though, I think. Fast PPC charger with super zoom farm contracts with I mean we've we've come across a few chargers and sadly we were not able to salvage any of them I really hope we will soon and if they're not gonna throw any more enemies at us I'm just gonna go like we're already over here by the drop zone. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and continue to wait for nothing Cavalry is here, Commander. Prepare to make extraction. Again, I do like Battlefield and Warzone. I like the ability to get additional money if you put in the effort, but I think we'll need uh, I think we'll need some mods at some point that will increase the frequency or at least decrease the amount of time it takes to spawn. Uh, PPC stands for Particle Projection Tannin. It's it's not quite a plasma weapon, but it's pretty close in terms of. Uh, what it is as a weapon system. There are plasma weapons that get developed later in the setting, but the PPC is... Think of it as a big cannon, but as a laser. It's just a big-ass laser cannon, essentially. Yeah, a lightning bolt is a better way to put it. It's a lightning cannon. It's the end-all in terms of laser weapons, at least at this point in the setting. Keep in mind that the, generally speaking, the setting of Battletech as it takes place over the games roughly falls within a 50 to 70 year period, and a lot of stuff happens in that period of time. So you see, like, lot, not only lost technology get discovered early in the setting that improves stuff, but then you see new technology get introduced partway through as well. And again, it's to me, as a military nerd, as a military hardware nerd, it's always interesting to see that in Battletech because you see all of the, like, the development of weapon systems and weapons platforms over time based on new input uh, and new innovation. And Dark Sarah rolling in with some PPC, that hot PPC lore. But uh, good to see you, Dark Sarah. Glad you could join us on this Saturday. Hopefully you're having an outstanding weekend so far. And uh, feel free to drop that hot PPC lore in chat. Um, let's see. Wolverine, Wolverine. I think we take the Wolverine. And what about, what, what, what else do we got here? What else do we got? I think we always take more Frank Breath. Frank's Red Hot. If given the option. Because you can put that shit on everything. Been lurking since the start. Well, even so, you know what I'm gonna say to that darks here. You're free to lurk, but when I see you in chat, you know I'm gonna say hi. And yes, now I see you. I drink Shenanigans. All right. So that's one mission down. Hopefully, yep, that'll lead right into the next one. So what are we doing on this one? I wasn't actually paying attention. I probably should have. And the Wolverine, we will just go ahead and sell. 
Uh, we are going to... I'm sorry? Excuse me? You're in a system that doesn't have sufficient resources to refit Max. Again, bravo. These people really do understand the Torian Concordant, don't they? Bravo. Alright, well, maybe we bring out Hunchback Squad then. Wait, what? I'm sorry? Yeah, where... Are we going somewhere else? Oh, we are. Okay. So this is recommended reputation level 5. Let's do it. Arrived at Pirate's Haven. Oh, we got some cantina missions. Kill assassin mechs, kill manticore units. Oh, we can't actually accept any contract currently, but we do have black market, so let's have a look. Oh, chat the claymore. Look at it. Look at it, though. I know it's for an assault class mech, but look at it. It's so pretty. I'm gonna buy it. It's less than 100k. I'm gonna buy it. We can't use it yet, but I'm gonna buy it. Not much else here that, uh, that's really catching my eye. Let's have a look at the mechs. You never know. Oh boy, a locust that's in pieces. No thank you. But yeah, it's, um, uh, speaking of freedom, track tension, because it got me thinking about, uh, Helldivers again. I was talking before about how, uh, like, I think it's funny that Helldivers understands, like, insane American jingoism better than most Americans do at this point. Like, there was an advertisement on the ship, and it, it made me laugh, because very similar to, uh, something that I heard not too long ago. And essentially the ad was like, you know, if if you're having trouble affording your home, then just remember, bugs could kill you at any moment. They escaped the farms. They murdered good citizens of Super Earth. Now, they're coming for you. The only thing that can stop them... A strong economy! Don't let your family get murdered. Spend your extra cash today. And it was like, if that's not a microchasm of modern American politics, I don't know what is. Like, if you can't afford your home or your student loan or even afford to feed yourself, just remember terrorism, China, illegals, and don't forget the gays. Um... But yeah, again, I'm not going to get political because that's not what we do here. But it's just, again, a, a Swedish studio understands jingoism better than most Americans do. America, fuck yeah! But yeah, I, I, I'll put a stop to that now. I apologize to bring up a, a politics. Don't, don't go down that rabbit hole. It's not a political Careful, stream. Commander. The are um, but I the just, weather. again, to me, it was very amusing. As well. uh, we're going to take out Hunchback Squad. Uh, let's see. Give the 4P to our big energy man. Um, let's see. I guess we'll give the 4J to you, and we will give the 4H to you. And uh, we're pretty close. We're pretty close. Difficulty 5, but it's only a 220-ton mission, so I think we can make this work. Hunchback Squad is a go. Let's make it hot. But yeah, it, again, if you guys want, want to play or want me to play some Helldivers, we can do that too. I would not be opposed to it. We have 
But first, we gotta take this boom box and we gotta boom. Don't forget, there's a Gauss rifle in this boom box. Oh. Oh, this is Volcano Planet. And there goes the leg. The Gauss rifle says hello, motherfucker. Uh, boom! Hey, 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 hey! Oh! I can't. Come here, you. I gotta kill this beetle. There we go. Screw you, buddy. I. We'll let them take care of that, and in the meantime, I got some artillery to take care of. Kill that walker. It's gonna be very hard to dodge artillery in a hunchback, though. It's gonna be very hard to dodge artillery in a hunchback. Please do. Oh god. Oh god. Man, they put that shit right on me. That only did half damage? What kind of joke is this? Thankfully, we're pretty close to most of the artillery. We can certainly... We can certainly reduce the effectiveness of it. Please take out the VTOLs. I'm a little bit busy. Look at this. Big old bridge. I don't think we've seen a bridge in here yet. At least in this game. Hopefully they can't blow up the bridge with the artillery, but I have a feeling we're about to find out one way or the other. And we'll just run you over. Are you gonna punch out? Okay. Well, how about that? They said they were gonna punch out and they actually did it. I am genuinely impressed. Oh, well, looks like we got some more friends coming to join the party. What do we get? Oh, that's, that's a lot of me. That's a lot of makes. So. Um. Um. I do like the gals. I mean, again, we end up coring everything. But I do like it. It it makes me feel powerful. In all the right ways. Oh no, I'm standing in artillery. This is gonna hurt. Oh, I dodged it. I don't know how I dodged it, but I dodged it. Alright, let's let's maybe not get bogged down. Let's not, not get bogged down on this. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to distract me from the artillery. And I'm not gonna have it. Get headshotted, donkey. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a thing that's gonna happen. They're they're very very clearly angry with us, but that's okay. That's okay. So for those of you that don't know, for those of you that do know, uh, if you know, you know. Should we do a bridge review of that bridge? 
bridge review. Tell me somebody gets that rep. I can't be the only person. We're gonna take you out. You're gonna take you out. There we go. That's another one down. Oh no, if you knew, you would know. If you know, you know. I don't know anything about bridges though. I am not, in fact, an engineer. I'm not an architect either. Again, if you know, you know. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I thought we were gonna take some leg damage there, but we made it. We made it. We got two more artillery pieces left. This would have been a lot faster in the trip. <laughs> I mean, swift draw, you, you got the right of it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's take this guy out. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. There we go. There we go. Yeah, one more maybe. Take out the flea. If you're losing components, it's because you're letting these light mechs follow you around and you're not fighting back. Come on. Come on. There we go. Is that it? That's it. Eliminate all enemy mechs. Alright, that I can do. God damn it. I'm trying to headshot him. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Damn. I cannot headshot to save my life. Go ahead and inject. What? Get on my level. Yeah, well, I mean, feel free to fight back at any point if it's convenient. Or you could just sit there losing more components for absolutely no reason. That seems to be what you guys are good at. Alright, what do we get? That's dead. Is that all the mechs? No. There is... What is a... I can't get a lock on it? Oh, he looks like he's down in the lava. Hey, it's a thunderbolt! Oh, that's right. Your your head is on the side. My bad. I apologize. There we go. I'm gonna get you. By God. I don't know if I cored him or headshotted him. We took way too much damage, but it is Hunchback Squad. We're gonna get shot up. Yeah, we, we don't have the new DLC. Is this DLC worth 15 bucks? I can't say. I mean, having not played it, I can't say whether or not it's worth it. But, uh, I mean, to me personally, as a huge fan of Mech Warrior 4, as a huge fan of George Ledoux and Duncan Fisher, I would say it's worth it to me personally. Uh, but obviously, you, you have to make that decision on your own. Um, obviously, I know that's why you're probably hitting the streams to see if somebody's playing it, but uh, sadly, sadly, I do not have the DLC. Uh, well, there's the 3V Locust that we were looking for. Sadly, we did not get the salvage on that T-Bolt, which is very disappointing. Uh, but we'll take an Assassin, sell it, and let's see. Oh, look at that, Chad. Just a random pulse laser in the salvage. Yes, I do believe I will. Then again, streak SRM ammo too. Man. They they are they are pulling out the the good stuff on this mission. We'll go with what we had though. I need to have you on my friends list to get tea. Oh, don't worry about it, Erst. It's fine. I, I'm I'm not fishing for somebody to buy the DLC for me. 
I'll get it eventually. I did also didn't realize it was only $15. I mean, if it's only 15 bucks, then that's, uh... That, that's much more affordable than I thought it would be. Arena mode is very cool because you can do 1v... Wait, is that a typo? Or is you can actually do a 1v11? Because that sounds insane. To just, like, take an atlas in against a bunch of white mechs and just start wrecking shop. Uh, on this mission, we were fighting Davin, I believe. Uh, we're working for the Torians fighting Davin. Uh, Brofisticus, I I haven't heard anything from Bloody Doves, but if he reaches out, I I wouldn't be um I wouldn't be averse to doing a voice pack if he's interested. There's no way an Atlas wins against a a dozen locusts. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, let's turn in the locust three V since we just got it. Outstanding, and now we can take another, another, uh, Cantina mission. I guess we'll do the kill assassins, because we've been killing a bunch of assassin mechs. Seems like something that we'll definitely get in the course of time. Uh, we're not quite there yet. We got one more mission we gotta do. Is it on this planet? It is on this Oh, mama. 50 difficulty on this one. Ugh. Pirate forces have fallen back to a region known as the Black Cliffs. It'll be a tough fight, but with the Torian Guard, it will be easy enough to flush out the last raiders. Uh, we'll see about that. We got eight negotiation points with these guys. I'm obviously taking full shares on salvage. We want big salvage. Always big salvage. Massive, throbbing, veiny salvage. I wish I could see- what is the tonnage limit? Tonnage limit is only 250. Ah. Uh, I don't think Hunchback Squad's gonna cut it on this one. I don't think Hunchback Squad is gonna cut it on this one. Are we still in a region of space where we can't fix stuff? No, we're not. Okay. Then let's get the A-team put back together, because I got a feeling we're gonna need it. Um, let's head to the mission, and we're gonna go with the classic. So give me the treb. We will put in the warhammer. And then we'll slap in the centurions, and I hope... Actually, you know what? We can even go heavier. We can go heavier, Chad. They're giving us the tonnage. It'd be stupid not to use it. Do we, perhaps... Can we fit in the other Warhammer? We're only losing two. We're over tonnage by a little bit. We're only losing two Salvage Pigs. But double PPC Warhammers, a T-Bolt, and me running around like a headless chicken? I think we can make this work. Although, to be fair, based on his defensive stats, um, this Warhammer is probably going to get shot to hell. But, we'll just have to see how it goes. We'll just have to see how it goes. Yeah, I think everybody's like, good luck. Yeah, well, we'll have to see. I got a feeling it's going to be rough. It sounds rough. I mean, it's a difficulty 50 mission, which is significantly higher than anything we've been doing up to this point so uh yeah can't wait to be one salvage off of an atlas yeah that's that's about how these things usually go but there's no time limit on these missions we're gonna take it slow the remaining pirate forces have taken refuge deep in the black cliffs 
a labyrinth of narrow canyons and caves that make it impossible to scout or attack with aerospace assets. For this, we will need to go in and flush them out with mechs and armor. Strike forces will be divided up by lance and advance through one of these many entrances boxing these pirate forces in. Support each other when you can, but be sure to cover your own entryway and ensure no pirate forces escape the justice of the Tarian Defense Force. I mean, I like that you keep calling them pirates when they're very clearly sporting Davian colors. Like, they are very clearly sporting Davian colors. They're not pirates, my friend. I mean, I could see why the Torians would say they're pirates, though. There we go. I'm- I'm sorry. Get the fuck out of my face! I did that to myself, Chad. I was not paying attention to the commando that was just wrecking my face. Get punched. Get punched. Would you? Man. They are, uh... They are not playing around right now. They are not playing around right now. I don't think this is where we want to fight, but this is kind of where we've ended up fighting. I guess let's head over this way. Everybody on me. Do the friendlies also follow my orders, or is it just, just my own AI companion? I'm curious. Yeah, this is, I believe this is number three on the Concordant missions, General Quarters. And also, welcome to the street on a Saturday. Let's see it. Glad you can join us. Let's see, we got a locust, we got an assassin, we got a flea, we got a cicada with a fucking PPC of all things. Definitely not what I was expecting. Also, we're getting shot from behind by vehicles. If you guys don't mind, would you maybe do something about that? Come here, old donkey. Uh, I think it's that leg? Yeah, that leg. No, no, go- go the direction of the enemy. Get wrecked, little nerd. I'm doing a little too much damage to the arm, though. I'm probably gonna lose some weapon systems here. Well, I've already lost some weapon systems here. I think it's bullshit that they keep dropping them up on top of these mountains. Focus fire on commander's target. Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins, bro, Festicus. I don't use meat shields. I am a meat shield. And I got plenty of meat. I got plenty of meat. That's not a euphemism for anything. Oh yeah? Come here, you little donkey. Although they are landing forces behind us, so maybe pay attention to that. Watch your focusing target. Yeah, fo focus that target, please. I'll worry about the singular VTOL behind us. I keep one get off of me, god damn it! Good! I pay you to destroy mechs, so please destroy that mech! Did you- you little bastard! Stop. Stop in the name of the law! Target acquired. On the commander's target. 
Stop. You violated the law. Target mech down. Then pay with your blood. Bless America. Where do these mechs keep coming from? Like, it looks like the scope's clear, and then suddenly there's more mechs, and I don't know where they're coming from. Die. There we go. And yeah, look, there's another one. Another Kentaro. Alright. Wasn't on my bingo card. We were talking about Bukaki earlier. I mean, that's basically what just happened to that Kentaro. Wait, what? Falling in file formation, sir. You, but you little punk ass. Okay. Is that it? You say so. Could you, could you get me repair? That'd be great. Wait, damn it! What, what's damn it? What did I do? What did I do? You ask now. I don't remember spite. Locust inspires looking so small from the perspective of a fifty-ton knight. Yeah, I, I have noticed some scaling issues, but then again, I think tabletop scale has always been a little weird. Oh, the boot khaki. Boot khaki. Yeah, I would- I, that, look. I'm not gonna lie, that's like the fifth or sixth time that I've used that word this stream. I regret nothing. Alright, uh, let's see. So we got 25 salvage picks. I'll take an assassin. I'll take a cicada. And, oh, man, they, they are pulling out the good stuff. Look at this. We got freaking Ultra AC-5s. We got Streak SRM ammo. We got Medium Pulse lasers. What the hell is this? I... I got... Uh, Chad, I have to take the Ultra AC-5, right? And I want to take the medium pulse lasers, but I got to take the ammo for the Ultra AC-5, too. Like, I can't take the weapon and then not take the ammo, right? Well, we're, we're going with the Ultra AC-5, Chad. And only about 500k in damages. And that should get us the Marauder, which is outstanding. Plus, we finished the Kill Assassin Cantina mission. Also good. Man, we are we are completing the fuck out of some missions today. All right, what do we got? We got Kill Commando Max. Well, shit, I wish we would have had that on this previous mission. We just killed a bunch of Commando Max. We'll take it anyway. Again, it's something that I imagine we will complete in the fullness of time. Uh, so that should be it, right? Yeah. Alright, outstanding. Out fucking standing. Let's get the mechs repaired. Actually, you know what? We'll save that. Uh, first of all, sell the assassin. Sell the cicada. Uh, hunchbacks are gonna have to get put back together, sadly. Uh, we do have the Marauder. We do have another Mar I mean, we, we're, we're getting dangerously close to being able to run Mad Squad. We've got three Marauders here, Chet. Wait, we could make it a mad world. A mad, mad, mad world. And this is, yeah, it's the full energy. It's two PPCs, two medium lasers, and a large. Huh. 
decisions. You don't want to sell this. I'm gonna hate to do it, but I kind of want to sell the fire starters too. Well, we have a hero fire starter in here somewhere. That one. We'll sell the regular fire starter. Because I'm getting ready to store some stuff here. We got this Centurion. I mean, I don't think we need it. Sell that. And I know I just standardized the design on this thing, but I think I'm going to store them. Ember's really good. Uh, I mean, I saw it. it. It looked okay. I just... By the time we found it, we were kind of outside the point where light mechs are super useful. Uh, but let's have a look at the operations center, as always, and let's see what's next on the list. Uh, we gotta increase your reputation. Poop on that. Air of nothing. Okay. Sure. Let's see where that's at. Whoops. Again. Oops, I did it again. Oh. Oh my. No, I don't think we're gonna do that one. At least not right now. Uh, we got Blood Minerals. We got Crimson Crusade. That's Curita. We got Bow and Arrow in Merrick. Uh, we're pretty close to Capellan Space. So maybe we do Hazing of the Weak. Like, I'm looking at the, the differing, like, who the quest givers are. Well, let's look at this one. Conspirators. Um, that's an independence faction, so they could be anywhere. They're on Kamal. Okay. Oh, we can get there in a few jumps. Let's do it. Hey. 